Hello everybody, welcome to JLab TV. I am JLab and this is Football Manager 2017. And I've got a player that's going to be joining us at the beginning of the next season. And my oh my, what a talented young player this man is. Federico Desan will be signing for us on a deal worth £9.25 million. Pounds. He's already made his second son transfer in his career and honestly I think this guy could be the future star he's a wonder kid already in the eyes of the media and at 17 being this good already is very promising as far as I'm concerned especially for an advanced playmaker who could also be a shadow striker if he really wanted to be I'm very happy with this signing that I'm gonna be making for the next season which I will be playing, hopefully. It will be my last season next year though, so Ben Fig will be the last team I will play with, and yeah. With the new Football Manager game coming out in November, and with Pez also being something I need to focus on, or I have to focus on more than I'd like to admit, Football Manager is probably not going to be the forefront of my focus right now, but when the next game comes out, it will definitely be my focus then. But anyway, we are in a good position right now, and I'm looking very, very much into the future for this transfer series, or for this Pez, um, for this Football Manager series, and with a signing like this coming to us, I have no reason not to want him to sign. He's a star. He's already grossed for our league, and I can put him straight into the first team, ahead of Borges, who may not agree with the idea of being place so quickly but to be completely honest with you while he's probably not best at the Borges right now he's got the potential to be an absolute gem so very happy with this signing and is born in 2008 god damn it that makes me feel old in this game but anyway let's see what we could do in the month of April and see if we survive in the Champions League and did well in the league to try and proclaim ourselves the best team in Portugal this season. So the first game we had was the Champions League home draw in the quarterfinal against Barcelona and we weren't at our best in this match admittedly but for the most part I knew we could do well. However we did go behind in the 60th minute of the game. Yes Neymar is still at Barcelona in this save. And Guedes, our former player, scored against us for his 8th goal of the season. Disappointed that he did score against us, but hey, we got ourselves an equaliser quite late on in the 87th minute of the game. They didn't deal this properly, and better for Dez, able to pounce onto it. Cataldi on the ball now. Bahamia plays in the middle. Silva finds Lazaro, and Lazaro is not going to miss a chance like that for his 16th goal of the season. But yeah, we got a one-all draw against Barcelona in the Champions League first leg. Could we go on to win second leg? I don't know. But we need to focus on the league as well. And focus on the league I tended to do with our game against Santa Clara. However, we did go behind. Again, so Monterio scored in the 57th minute of the game to give them the lead. And I was disappointed that was the case. Really, need to do better than that. However, we did equalise and get a draw thanks to Chris's penalty in the 65th of the game for his 37th goal of the season. No surprise, he's doing well this season. But again, a draw is not really what I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get a win, so we've dropped points unnecessarily. So then we went away to Barcelona and got absolutely destroyed. Guedes again was annoying in this match. And to be fair, Barcelona are just really good in this game. And Guedes scored the first goal in the eighth minute of the game. He's enough of the season. He scored again against us, which is really frustrating. And yeah, it wasn't helped in the 20th minute of the game where we weren't actually that good. It was an own goal for Mina this time. Paglisa's shot rebounded in off Mina to go back into the back of the net past Costa. And then in the 82nd minute of the game, Guedes scored again for his 10th of the season and third goal against us. So, very frustrating that happened. We need to improve next season, I think. And I 
doing so with the signs I haven't made so far. So then we went to Packers Ferreira and we lost 2-1. Though we did take the lead initially, thanks to Chris's effort in the 15 minute of the game, which gave me hope that thinking, okay, we're going to survive, we're going to make sure we do the job here after our destruction at the hands of Barcelona. But nope. Mistake from the keep, I think, allowed Lynn to score his second goal of the season, only his second goal of the season. I think it's my second goalkeeper, I don't know. But yeah, we weren't very good. And then just three minutes into the second half, they managed to get a winner. Or was it four minutes in the second half? I cannot remember the top of my head, but we weren't very good in this game and we deserve to be punished. And that was just poor possession, poor awareness. Drickoff off. And play. Play? Millie gets it back. Then we lose it again. Drakovic. Indai. Drakovic. Pereira. Energy. Kai. Finds Berto. He plays it across. And Drakovic scores to make it 2 1. His fifth of the season. To ensure we lose for the first time in months in the league. I cannot even remember the last time we even lost in the league. But hey, it happened. We lost. I want to move on. And move on, I did. Trifonse are, well, Trifonse are very poor this season. They've only got five points in the league this season. So any game against them is almost a walk in the park, quite frankly. It's almost just an embarrassing situation where we can just go to them and say, yeah, we're going to beat them every time. So maybe plays in the middle. Didn't do much. Here's Mamoni, a youngster again, 17 years of age. He's finds Chris. And then his shot was rebounded into the path of Bahama. But he's third of the season, another young player. I'm trying to build a young side of Benfica to have a good team for the future. Ira finds Nelson, he finds Chris. Chris scores second goal of the game to make it 2-0 for the last goal of the match. His 39th goal of the season. Don't know why he's got so many goals, but I don't care either. I think anyone who's playing a striker this season, this season can get a lot of goals. It's just a matter of making sure we continue to progress. So we then had a league game against Gimma Maurice who I just literally just went to Google and you just to trans find a translation for the team. So apologies if I got that wrong still. But we found ourselves 1-0 up inside three minutes from the era's goal for his second of the season. Outstanding finish, really. Good stuff to see. And then Chris scored with his free kicks. He was a 2-0 lead inside 20 minutes. So I'm thinking to myself, OK, we should run away with this, really, shouldn't we? He's 40 for the season. We're looking good. Looking very good indeed. We should have a good time. Chris's free kick again. Cleared away this time. And Goffo gets the ball, plays it back, okay, can we get this back? Yes we can, he's Borgias. Cataldi, Mamoni, Borgias, Semedo, Bahimia, plays across to Chris, cleared away. Okay, Mamoni gets it back, Bahimia, finds Chris, he scores again, this is great. His second goal of the match, his 41st of the season, and we're looking good. Then Gimaurice gets two goals. Here's the first of which, and I'm still frustrated because Mongus should not have been able to get allowed so much room in the penalty area to have that shot. And then just a few minutes later, 64, 65th minute of the game, we can see the second, so I'm thinking to myself, we just throw in a, we could throw away a three goal lead here after Lobo scores for the rebound. To be fair, it's a good rebound shot, but it's annoying that we conceded. But we held on for the three to win, and I was very happy indeed, despite the fact we were very, very poor at times against Gimo Maurice. I am so sorry if I got that wrong, even though I went to a translator website. God damn it. So here's how things stand in the Champions League. We are two points clear and only two points clear against Sporting Lisbon, but we do play Sporting Lisbon in the upcoming games. Now that's important to me because if we beat them, we're pretty much going to be champions because we need nine points to be champions. We can't afford to lose, really. And. Benfica may be out of the title race already with three games to go. So unless Sporting Lisbon and I draw that game, which would allow Benfica, uh, Porto a chance to come back into this, being two points behind, I don't see Porto winning the title this season because they've drawn so many games this year. And that's the only reason they're not going to win the title this year. 
which I think was up from last year. No, it wasn't. We just didn't win enough. But yeah, for the most part, this title race could be interesting. I think we should win the title. Because we got Chavez, Sports in Lisbon, and the Orense. So we should win. We should win. But last time we played against Sports in Lisbon at our ground, we lost. I'm going to find the past missions now. Is it? Oh, no, here we go. So last time we faced against Sports in Lisbon, we beat them at their ground, but we lost against them in the last two cup finals we faced up against them, and we went to their ground as. We don't have a very good record. Let's just put it that way. We don't have the best of records. And I'm not happy about it. So, oh, actually, we hosted them and we drew, so yeah. Um, our last vit our victory last time out was the first victory we had against them in five matches, so I think we need to start improving that record. But then again, before that, we won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches in a row against them, so I don't know. It's interesting to see what will happen, but I want to improve our record against them. But I'll be happy to take a point in that match against them. That's just something I wanted to say here now. But anyway, I'm actually going to end this video here. I hope that you guys have actually enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will like and share this video. And that you will subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out a lot. And so anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.